All right, I'm on hole number seven of the Coast to Coast Tournament. I'm in Tuesday's qualifying round in the rookie division. Let's go check out hole number seven. And hole number seven, doing a slightly different adjustment here. Let's go to, uh, let's, let's back that up a little. What is hole number seven? It's Juniper Point hole number seven. Juniper Point hole number seven. All right, so in my main account, I'm doing this with a, a sniper and a navigator. And in the weekend round, I'm probably going to drop that down to a low wind ball. But here, my red line is such that I can't get up there with a navigator. And I'm not sure if I was able to even get up there with a, with a katana. I'm going to put on two topspin. Two and a sliver of topspin. Plus 10%. So let's see here. I really want to bring my sniper. I want to bring whatever I got that's got the best ball gun I have. Sniper. I think I was able to get this done yesterday with a katana, but I may have to switch to a tight. The king of balls. And I'm going to do two and a sliver top spin. And I may need just a sliver of side spin one direction or the other. You can do this as a no move shot where you can leave your ball right where it's at when it when it when it lands on the hole and you can make a slight side spin top spin adjustment. Um, but I do like to move mine so that it's wedged up right in the middle. I like this hole. But we're getting we're getting a head side wind here that's that's absolutely the opposite of what we've been getting on it the last two times and so we're in that situation this must be a spring thing where they're getting a red tide the winds coming from the land going against the ocean and it's pushing the water back and we're getting a red tide situation right here theoretically the wind should be coming from the ocean going towards the land in most cases so we must be in the spring red tide season I will tell you that that's not unlucky. You hit it. That's the deal. Hey, okay? That's the thing. Why is it a good game? You going to forfeit on me? Aha. Oh, Katana does work. Right dead center in the middle. About two... And a sliver of top spin. Two and a sliver. It's three three. I'm going to add on ten percent, so it's going to be about three six. One hundred percent accurate club. There's one, two, three. Puts me just a titch into power. Isn't it perfect? Just a bit too much. Probably the overpower. It's been right there at the... Right there at the... Uh, at the cup. So in the past, when we've got any kind of tailwind or just like a pure sidewind, I was coming to this hole and I do one and a sliver of top spin. But because we're getting that headwind, I started the week off with one and a sliver. It was short. I moved it up to one and three quarters. It was still a little bit short. I raised it up to two and it was right there, but just a little short. So I put the two and a sliver on. But hitting my red line, that put me half a ring off. Too much power. If you're rubbing up against the nubs, that's one ring. So I was definitely too much power. Hit it perfect in the hole. Birdie. Getting the birdie. 
I'm going to change on my notes. When I go back and watch these videos, I'm going to change my, uh, when I write notes for 99, I'm going to switch that to a, to a Titan so that I don't have that red line issue. That's actually the lowest win that I've seen on that hole. Um, a couple times this in, in the practice round and to yesterday in my 77 account qualifying it, the wind was over four. And so that's the, that's the lowest one I've seen and I hit the red line. So I'm going to uh, switch that to a Titan so that I've got a little bit more breathing room. I can work the wind out and I don't have to worry about having to put on a little bit of overpower. That'll push the red line forward. All right, that was hole number seven of the Coast to Coast Tournament and Tuesday's qualifying round in the Rookie Division. Thanks for watching.